Welcome everyone. I'm now calling this meeting to order. Please stand with us. We'll be led in prayer by Alderman Gallagher. And then please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance that will be led by Alderman Scott Ferguson. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for the day that you've given us, Lord. We, we thank you for the voters who have come out, Lord. We thank you that we live in a country uh, where we can vote on things, Lord. Lord, I pray for uh, the winners and the losers to act like you would, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, first on the agenda is the approval of minutes for the April 18, 2017 meeting. <coughs> Mr. Ringer, move we approve the minutes of the regular meeting on April 18, 2017, with any additions, deletions, or corrections. Second. We got a motion by Alderman Payne, a second by Alderman Brooks. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Alderman Brooks? Yes. Alderman Kelly? Yes. Alderman Hill? Yes. Alderman Payne? Yes. Alderman Gallagher? Yes. Alderman Gallagher? yes. 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 Okay, and that motion carries. Our next on our agenda is the presentation of honor cords for our graduating class of our Mayor's Youth Council. And before I do that, uh, I know you didn't ask me, but I'm going to, since you are my Mayor's Council, I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. Um, and, I, and I am serious, though. Um, I remember when I was 18 years old, graduating from high school, you know, going to college and things like that, and I'm going to make this short. But... I remember when everyone told me what I should do. They told me that, you know, you should choose this school. You know, you should go here. This is what we think you should do. Uh, I remember later, I was fortunate enough to uh, get to spend a few years playing professional baseball in the minor leagues. I remember everyone back home saying, when are you going to get a real job? You know, how long are you going to travel the country and, you know, you're making $1,300 a month. You know, all your buddies are back home. They have real jobs, getting married. Uh, having babies, you know, when are you coming home? And I felt that pressure and, and actually as a 50 year old man, I look back now and I could have stayed and done that for many more years, but I chose to come home because I felt the pressure back home. So that's a long way to tell you, do what you want to do. Don't let anyone tell you what career you should have, where you should go to college. Right now, don't listen to anyone else. Do what you want to do because if you don't, one day you'll regret that. And here's our um, graduates tonight. I'm very proud of y'all. Thank you for what you do on the Mayor's Youth Council. Uh, the DeSoto Central graduation is Saturday, May 27th at the Lander Center. And the South Haven High School graduation is Sunday, May 28th at the Lander Center. Um, I'm going to call out all the names. And if you'll come up front, Christy, is that how we'll do it? Just, just have a mic. Okay. And if, since I have the mic here, I'll just do that. And if you'll come up and we'll make the presentation of the course there. From DeSoto Central High School, Emma Claire Faulkner. McCoy Hederick Kennedy Pegues uh, Karina Rodriguez From South Haven High School, Jamie Brown. Emily Carnes. Ari Howell. And Gabby Hunter.
we'll do all together. Everybody have your cameras with you to get picture. Thank you. Next on the agenda is a resolution uh, to surplus property in the South Haven Fire Department. Just a surplus in one item is a 23 year old uh, turnout gear extractor. Mr. Mayor, I move that we adopt a resolution of the Mayor and Board of Aldermen of the City of South Haven to acquire surplus property in the Fire Department. Second. So a motion by Alderman Brooks, second by Alderman Kelly. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Alderman Brooks? Yes. Alderman Kelly? Yes. Alderman Hill? Yes. Alderman Payne? Yes. Alderman yes. 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 Okay, that motion carries. And next on our agenda is a resolution to claim private property. Mr. Mayor, I move we adopt the resolution granting authority to claim private property as presented on this date. Second. We have a motion by Alderman Flores. I mean, excuse me, we have a motion by Alderman Brooks, second by Alderman Flores. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Alderman Brooks? Yes. Alderman Kelly? Yes. Alderman Hill? Yes. Alderman Payne? Yes. 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 Okay, that motion carries. Next on our agenda is our planning agenda. Ms. Whitney Cook. I guess so. The first application we've got is a subdivision application for Shelburne Estates, Section F, between Tulahoma Road and Getwell Road, North Nebraska Road Extension. Uh, it's 35.5 acres, encompasses 53 lots. Uh, it does have 20,000 plus square foot uh, lot sizes, which is compliant with the PUD text uh, that was approved back in 2000. Uh, there were a couple situations that we had to work out. Um, Rocky Creek is going through here, so there's an extra long cove. We spoke to the fire department. They agreed if we added an extra hydrant in this one situation uh, that we could allow the 650 foot length of the cove. Um, the setbacks, square footages on the houses, and everything were compliant with the original PUD text, and it's recommended for approval. I move we approve item number one on the planning agenda. Second. Mr. Mayor, I move we approve item number one on the planning agenda. Second. Okay, for item one, we have a, a motion by Alderman Payne, second by Alderman Brooks. Is there any discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, roll call. Alderman Brooks? Yes. Alderman Kelly? Yes. Alderman Hill? Yes. Alderman Payne? Yes. Alderman Gallagher? Yes. Alderman Ferguson? Yes. Yes. Alderman Flores? Yes. Okay, motion carries on one. Item number two, we have a request to revise the Bob Peltz Industrial Subdivision Section B, Lot 2. Uh, the existing lot encompasses 65.5 acres and wraps around the existing Lot 1, which is where the American Metalcraft Building is down Stanton Road. Uh, the applicant is wanting to carve out 7.15 acres from that acreage and form a Lot 2A, which is going to be directly south of the American Metalcraft Building. Uh, it does have a 15-foot sewer easement on it that goes... Um, over to a detention area, I'm mean, sorry, a um, Mississippi Power and Light easement on there and a 15 foot sewer easement on the east side. It goes into a designated stormwater area. Um, plans on it was American Metalcraft is wanting to expand their site, not necessarily the building of a use, but for parking and storage facilities. It will not touch the railroad tracks, um, and there's a large buffer line there for the Colonial Hills. Um, that being said, it was voted unanimously in favor of by the Planning Commission. Second. We have a motion by Alderman Hale, second by Alderman Kelly. Is there any discussion? Are they going to clean up anything along that railroad? This property won't actually touch the railroad. It's going to line up with where you see lot one ending. It's going to basically line up with that portion. So um, everything that's east of that will remain the same. And we can obviously, is there something back there that we need to address? We can obviously talk to the property owner. Well, that's just a an overall overall problem that some of the some of the Columbia Hills areas have that uh, that's where they ride, that's where they yes. do some things. Uh, we're just we're just looking at ways to maybe clean that whole area up uh, and go 
to solve some of the, the, the ditch and the drainage problem. That's it. Yeah, we have gone back there. Uh, the property owner did post no trespassing because we don't have a lot of motorcycle and four wheelers going back there. Um, she did have some illegal dumping on the property. She lives in Florida. Uh, but our code enforcement did identify some illegal dumping on the property and she gave us permission to enter the site and we had the police actually work with us on the illegal dumping there. Um, so it's cut down some, but if there's something that needs to be cleaned up, uh, she works really well with us. We can just notify her. Is there any other discussion on two? Hearing none, roll call. Alderman Brooks? Yes. Alderman Kelly? Yes. Alderman Hill? Yes. Alderman Payne? Yes. Alderman Gallagher? Yes. Alderman Bryson? Yes. Yes. Okay, motion carries on item two. Our final application is just a simple Scrivener's error. This is a plot book and page recorded document for Heritage Hills PUD Lot 2. Um, basically what they're needing to do is change the title block and it's required by the Chancery Clerk's Office when we record that if the change happens to the title block then it has to be for board action. Um, so basically they're changing it to, um, refers to phase two, we're changing it to phase four. That's essentially all it is. I'll make that motion, Mayor. Second. We have a motion by Alderman Payne, second by Alderman Ferguson. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Alderman Brooks? Yes. Alderman Kelly? Yes. Alderman Hill? Yes. Alderman Payne? Yes. Alderman Gallagher? Yes. Alderman Ferguson? Yes. Alderman Yes. Okay, that motion carries. Thank you. Our right, next on our agenda is the mayor's report. Just a couple of quick things. Um, Rascal Road, uh, the extension between Sweeney and Tullahoma uh, was paved last week. And uh, the only thing that's waiting now before the road will be open is for the asphalt to cure, which takes, you know, five or six days. After that, it'll be striped and it'll be open, ready to go. So that's been a big, big thing for our city. We've been waiting a long time. Um, and then uh, get well, uh, the get well widening project, uh, you, you may have seen it if you went there today, they turn traffic so they go ahead and start uh, paving the uh, eastern lanes and then they'll match it up and it's within, uh, it's within 30 days of being done too. So we'll have get well done uh, within about 30 days. So that's all I have this evening. Uh, next, we didn't have anyone sign up on the citizens agenda. Uh, next on the uh, agenda is our personnel docket. Mr. Mayor, I move we approve the personnel documents presented on the state. Second. We have a motion by Alderman Brooks, second by Alderman Hale. Is there any discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, roll call. Alderman Brooks? Yes. Alderman Kelly? Yes. Alderman Hale? Yes. Alderman Payne? Yes. Alderman Gallagher? Yes. <coughs> Alderman Ferguson? Yes. Alderman Flores? Yes. Okay, and that motion carries. Next on our agenda is our city attorney's legal update. Nothing, Nothing this evening. Next um, on the agenda is our claims docket. Just one. Mr. Mayor, I move we approve the claims docket in the amount of two million four hundred and forty-two thousand nine hundred and sixty-three dollars and sixty-one cents, including the land checks. Second. We have a motion by Alderman Payne, second by Alderman Flores. Is there any discussion about the claims docket? Hearing none, roll call. Alderman Brooks? Yes. Alderman Kelly? Yes. Alderman Hill? Yes. Alderman Payne? Yes. Alderman Gallagher? Yes. Alderman Ferguson? Yes. Alderman Flores? Yes. Okay, that motion carries. Um, we do not have a need for executive session this evening. Is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? So moved. We have a motion by Alderman Flores, second by Alderman Brooks. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. I just have a motion carried. This meeting is now adjourned. Hold up. Good night. That's all. Is there a motion to reopen the meeting? So moved. We have a motion by Alderman Flores, second by Alderman Gallagher. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. I just have a motion carries. This meeting is now reopened. Yes, sir. I'm here about the property at 2211. We're supposed to have a meeting today on some uh, properties that are unsafe. This is right here. I thought this is going to be spoken today. I just... <coughs> okay. Well, so, I'm confused. 2211. Okay, so it's, it's one of the ones that's, that's on. Uh, 